Hello, everyone. My name is Liu Jiali from Education University of Hong Kong. Today, I'm going to talk about environment-related topics. How individuals keep paying attention to environmental protection activities. Uh, why are interested in these topics? And before I tell you that, I will tell you a story. I have a cousin named Gemma. She is a very nice person and she is a very environmentally friendly individual because she do, does a lot of things to protect our environment is that recycling. Actually, uh, we all know that recycling is not an easy thing for us to do because uh, we should categorize that into several parts. And then we should wash or clean them. And most importantly, we should send them to the recycling station. It's a long process. My cousin did it for three years. Yes, never stopped. And then I really appreciate what she did. So I told her about my feelings. But she just gave me a depressed face. She thinks, she thinks that actually she didn't did a very good things because it is just a small step and no one cares. Therefore, uh, she taught a lot of bad things like, uh, I don't want to, maybe I don't want to do it anymore. And I feel a little bit sad because actually she did a really great thing, but she didn't notice it. Actually, I, I am, yeah, I'm also interested in this topic. So I always like search the internet or watch the related documentaries. Um, one day I have, I have watched a video from the YouTube that I found that actually we have a lot of uh, environmental cycles for the re environmental friendly persons. That means if you are interested in uh, environmental protections, the, the solution for you to not be alone is that you should join them. In this cycle, you have a lot of people, they have the same or the similar interests as you do, and they can encourage you or they can inspire you to do the more things than you do just by yourself. So I think that maybe this is very important uh, process for my cousins to deal with her loneliness. And I have told her that, and maybe she says she will try in the later on. Secondly, the things in my thought was that we should not do the environmentally activity extremely. Uh, what I say, because I have noticed there was a lot of uh, extreme uh, minimum lessons uh, on the internet. They just you. They don't use the tissue. Can you imagine that they don't use the tissue? And for the women, they use the menstrual cup. Uh, it is not easy for, for me to accept the menstrual cup. Um, so uh, for that way, uh, many people would escape from that kind of uh, life. So uh, what if you want to join this kind of activity? Uh, I think that maybe we should more personalize. For example, uh, we always said that we cannot use the plastic uh, in our life because plastic is a very poisonous thing in, uh, for, the, for our earth. But actually, if you use the plastic box for your lunch box, and you will find that actually plastic is very uh, durable things. You can use it for a long time. Uh, I want to conclude that the first one is you should find your own club or community that can let you engage in. Secondly, and you are willing to do it, that can help our environment. So um, please do it. And right now, I always remember one person, one expert says, Actually, uh, you are not saving the, the earth because uh, our mother, ma our motherland have their, have her own patterns. You're just saving yourself. That's all of my speech. Thank you.